Welcome to Innovation City, a podcast featuring the innovators, disruptors, and creators who are changing the way that business happens. You know, we like to say that these are the people that are breaking through the status quo of business as usual. And we've been interviewing these people for the last two years in cities like St. Louis, Missouri, and Miami, Florida to kind of feature the people behind the innovation movement. Now, we're over 120 episodes into Innovation City. We're entering into year three, season three. And what we're doing right now is we're featuring the top 20 episodes of all time. We're in our third week of our top 20 countdown. And this week, starting out at number 16, we have founding partner of Moonbase Marketing, Brandon Curry. And in this clip, he talks about how gaming really has an impact in our communities in terms of social interaction. Check this out. Think about how much time it takes to be LeBron James and, and the natural skills that it takes to, to be him. Um, and a lot of people would dispute that that's the same case for esports athletes, but there are you know certain reaction time skills and uh, just motor skills and critical thinking skills that it takes that mean that some people can't participate at the highest level. Um, and what they do with the limited resources they have in the game and the limited time frame is nothing short of remarkable. And it's something that you can't do without those natural skills and you can't do without the time to dedicate to it. And so what you're watching is what everybody watches when they watch sports, is you're watching somebody be great. Yeah, you're watching yeah. somebody be great in an environment that is appealing to you. A lot of people play video games, and now I think we're kind of transitioning to, or at least we're kind of creating a new crowd of people who enjoyed video games, like myself, and just want to still be a part of that, but not put in the time and effort it takes to spawn, move 15 feet and then die and be like, I'm, I'm done with this. There is an entire generation of people who grew up and used gaming for a variety of purposes, um, whether it was to you know facilitate social interaction by you know having people come over to their house and playing these games, or because this was a substitute for not having access to that. Uh, video games, they represent something intrinsically important to the human experience, which is connectivity. Um, like I said, whether you're bringing your friends over or you're meeting your friends through that platform, it does something really important to people. And recognizing that and developing an industry with that in mind means that either some of those people don't have to go through it alone or that it's not another aspect of themselves or their personality that helps marginalize them. And Thankfully, we're at a point where we're, I, I believe that we're really cresting that hill. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a great point because I think a lot of times people view technology or gaming or, you know, a lot of the things that, that we're experiencing today as, as something that isolates people. But you're really saying that it brings people together and can potentially build great communities. I'd be interested to see whether dating apps or video games bring more people together. And I'm almost certain it's video games, but yeah. like, I, it's probably the number one thing, bringing people together other than like public school education system. All right, next up at number 15, we have one of Miami's cryptocurrency and blockchain experts. His name is Sam Abbasi. And if you've ever wondered what is the value of cryptocurrency, and you know what's the potential in blockchain, advanced blockchain technologies, this is the episode for you. Check this clip out where Sam talks about the opportunity in advanced cryptocurrency and advanced blockchain. Check it out. When you, when you look out into the future, like what does um, that, what opportunities do you see that can come out of an, a more advanced blockchain and uh, integration there's, of there's, blockchain? There's so much, and, and this is kind of cliche at this point too, but it's the idea that, you know, the, the best applications we haven't even thought of. Um, this isn't, this, u this uses the internet, but it's not like the internet. Um, remember, and to reiterate again, like the people that made this were ideological in nature, libertarians. Um, who wanted a, 
a genuine store of value. I mean, they, and I'll give you quick, just economics here. 1971, we went off the gold standard um, and that kind of changed everything. We were, we were gold back before. We never really had the reserves required to actually justify having a gold back currency. Um, but, but that all changed. And now we, 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 we have this money. I mean, really, the, the US dollar, I don't, know, I don't know what I'm giving people anymore. The US dollar is, it's, it's, a, it's a currency that is controlled by you know, nine or 12 people that, we were, that weren't elected, that we don't elect, who arbitrarily try and manipulate the economy um, when they see fit, right? I'm not saying they're bad actors, but there's still a group of people and groups of people do terrible things all the time. Good things too. Um, but that's a problem. So we're trusting this thing that isn't worth anything. It's only a trust in the US government. Bitcoin's different because you can trust the network and the protocol and you can you, you can vet it too. I mean, it's open source and, and, and the developers, everything is, is on forums. You can read everything they're doing, what they're about to do, what they're even thinking of doing too. Um, so you can trust in this actual network and it's something that has a slow supply growth. I mean, gold was valuable over time because it was hard to make gold. Like people couldn't make more gold. That's one of the problems with things that are adopted as currencies. They have the... Um, uh, like it, I think it's called a money trap problem, um, where when something is valuable, people try to people try to make more of it. They do end up making more of it, and then it's just not worth anything anymore. You can't do that with gold. You can't do that with Bitcoin. So thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Innovation City's Top 20 Podcast of All Time. I want to give a big shout out, a big thank you to Venture Cafes Miami and St. Louis. They are our collaboration partners, and we couldn't do this without them. So thank you to Leanne and Tyler, the two directors leading that up. And we can't wait to see you rate, review, and subscribe to Innovation City. Anywhere we can get a podcast, you can find us. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. This is where it all begins. So say goodbye to all your fears, all your doubts. This is where they die. This is where we come to.